Paralogs. No title card. Working on solution. We'll read from here on out. Oh, bother. It seems that our noble heritage has once again landed us in the middle of conflict. A certain persnickety, devilish, uptight noble is stirring trouble along our borders on his quest for clout. So it is our duty, as the nobles of this land, to defend it from all who would threaten it. It may seem difficult, but don't you worry your pretty noble head. For if you take a look at the map here, you'll notice that those dastards- <laughs> I'm done with this bit. Today's map is a lot of fun. There are two vastly different objectives. Defend the map or kill the weenie noble. This map beautifully establishes the player's options through its layout, setting clear paths depending on how they want to play. There are two important choke points on each side that the majority of the enemies will funnel into, letting you hunker down until the timer is up. Then there's the path straight down where you quickly blitz for the boss. With the boss being relatively close to where you start, it lets you play a mixture of defensive and offensive. You can defend as long as you want, or you can try and push out to collect the goodies and maximize your EXP, playing with your divine pulses to see how much you can get done. When you feel threatened, you can quickly take out the boss, and that's exactly what I did when I was overwhelmed by the maddening unit. It's a fun way that lets players feel out how they want to complete the map. Though I do wish the boss was just a little bit further away. The blitz can feel too easy at times, especially with the stride gambit and a pegasus knight in tow. The start is hard, similar to previous chapters, but this time it's a defend map, so the challenge isn't sectioned off. No matter how good you do on the first turn, it doesn't matter, cause more enemies will quickly show up. Instead it's all about how you can adapt your strategy from turn to turn, and stabilize between each wave. There's enough enemies with good variety that need to be addressed in the choke points, and the flying units keep you on your toes as they will just rush over the walls towards the capture point but they're placed just so where they can't cap it outside of your range. If the boss was a smidge further away to balance out the use of the stride gambit, this map would be simply perfect. It's a simple yet effective implementation of what it wants to do. Plus it gives you the best relic item in the game. Fuck man, 9 out of 10. Not too shabby for the noble prince of House Gloucester. <laughs>